Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to the workshop. Time for another DIY video today. And let me tell you, this is gonna be prototyping today because I've never attempted to build what I'm about to build, but I have read a little bit about these, seen some videos. And today I'm gonna try to make a membrane reed. And it's a very, very simple, simple wind instrument. And today the parts I'm gonna need, this is a piece of half inch PVC. However, this is also a piece of half inch PVC. So you see, they're actually different sizes and they're different colors as well. This is schedule 20 PVC and this is schedule 40 PVC. And if you just ask for a piece of PVC, you're probably gonna get schedule 40, which is this right here. This is schedule 20. So you can see the holes are about the same size, but the wall thickness is very different. This is a lot thicker uh, piece of PVC, whereas this one's much, much lighter. So this is what you want. You want a piece of schedule 20 PVC, half inch, and the half inch refers to the uh, diameter of the opening here, not the overall. And um, this is a two foot length and you can actually buy it in two foot lengths. I got this at uh, Lowe's and you can buy these uh, in most of the big box stores in two foot lengths. You can usually also buy them in five foot lengths or sometimes longer than that. Then you're also gonna need a T joint here. And this is actually a larger T joint. So if you can see here, it's larger than, or let me show it to you that way. It's larger than the PVC and that's okay. It's actually the same size as the PVC here, but not here. And that's okay. That's what you want because you want to create a little space where the air can get around the pipe. So you want something that's a little bit larger like this. So these are your pieces of a hardware that you're going to need. Then you're going to need some tape. This is like a uh, vinyl tape, like similar to electrical tape. Um, some of that. And you're going to need something to function as the reed. Now this is just a, a plastic wrap that was around something that I bought. I don't even remember what, but uh, then I cut off of it. And I'm just going to use this for the reed today. Um, from what I understand, there's a whole lot of reading you can do on using different things as reeds, but anything that's like fairly thin that you can stretch across that pipe is what you're going to want. So I'm going to try this. And again, this is my first attempt. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to take the T section here. We want to put it over this pipe and get it so it stays here. Now, as you can tell, this is a lot bigger, so it's just gonna slide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this up here just a little bit so that we can get this on here. And we want it to line up almost exactly on this end. We want the inner pipe to be just a hair longer than the outer pipe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put those two together like that about where I want it. And I'm just gonna make a mark here on the pipe. And this is not meant to be, you know, precise. I just need to know about where the tape needs to be. Okay, so next I'm going to take my tape here and I'm going to wrap it around the pipe and start building up uh, like a layer that's going to help me, um, you know, get that, get, get a little spacer in there. And I do want this to be airtight. So I want to do a pretty good job of wrapping this. So I'm just going to keep doing this and keep building it up and building it up until I get, you know, about enough to, uh, to seal up that little space between the two pipes. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. I've wrapped it around and I've built up kind of a little, a little seal there. And I think this is probably close. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tape and then I'm gonna check. And then if I need more, I can obviously go back and add more, but there we go. Okay, that took a little trial and error, but I actually ended up peeling some of it off. So I actually had too much tape on there and I think I've got it pretty close now. So if you watch when I put this on here, Okay, it's fairly tight. It's a fairly tight push there to get that on. And then what you want to create here, I think I might have to twist it just a little. There you go. This is what you want to create. You want to have a little gap around there and you want to have it airtight due to the tape here. And you want to have that pretty close to the top. And it looks like I should be, yeah, I can move it just a little bit. So. That's what we want to do. Now the next step is to put the membrane across here. So I'm actually going to take this back off, put the membrane across here and then put it on and get it to where this just touches the membrane. Okay. So this is what I want to do here. I just want to stretch that membrane across the top. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of this and try it. Okay. So I've trimmed off a little piece. Going to put this across the top. Let's tape it in place. Okay. So I taped this side and stretch the other across and tape this side as well. And you want to get it fairly taut from what I have read. So get it fairly taut across there and tape that in place. Then we're going to put a piece of tape around the whole thing to sort of hold that across there. Okay. So if you see here, we have pushed this to where 
the inner pipe is just sort of touching the bottom of the reed and we should get a sound that's somewhat similar to a, a clarinet or a or a um, saxophone or something so let's try it there we go so i am not sure how to calculate the pitch now i have to figure out what this is pitched at i'm probably gonna have to shorten this to get to a, a standard pitch but uh let me see if I can figure that out. Okay, so ironically, this is almost a perfect A, but here's what I discovered. Depending on how tight this inner one, this inner pipe is against the reed, it will actually change the pitch slightly. So let me see if I can illustrate that for you. But if I push it up just right, it's almost a perfect A. So there you go. Now, I know what the next thing you're probably thinking is, why couldn't you go in and put a few holes in this and make, you know, you could control it like you would a flute? And you absolutely could. I don't know the science behind that just yet of where to drill those holes to get the right pitches. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But for a prototype and just quick trying that in the workshop, I'm pretty happy with this. So there you go. That is how you make a membrane reed. And if you like what I do on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be back soon.